Hey everybody, so we are back with the uh, harbor and canal system project. <clears throat> what you are looking at now is the primed layout. Uh, the toilet paper and glue has pretty much dried. It's been about two days. Uh, what you see here is tape because I decided I want to try to preserve the wood. I really like the way that would look as wood and uh, I didn't think I could replicate it as well by painting over it. Uh, so I put some of this tape over there and this is my first time bringing it up. I'm worried that some of the sticks may come up uh, if the tape, if I take it up too quickly. So I'm going to kind of roll it back slowly. But as you can see, most of the sticks survive. So I will try to put a wash over them. Unfortunately, I don't have many washes to choose from. My normal washes are not in stock or I'm out of them. But you can see the... Uh, grading or fencing there I wanted to I covered up my posts so hopefully those will be preserved other than that not a lot else to show you yet I mean the project is kind of just getting picking back up after a two-day hiatus but uh, you know I will be back with more I am going to start doing this probably in a dark gray I had debated using some other colors because obviously in the medieval period, I don't think they had concrete, but uh, they did have stone. I mean, they built stone castles, so they had stone. Plus the concrete and stuff would look better if I'm playing boat action or some more modern games. So I figured I might as well, uh, I might as well uh, concede to that. Uh, so or defer to that. But. I will check back in after I've done a little painting. I'm kind of just getting started here, but I wanted to get a, let you guys get a look at this before the next step. Talk to you later. Hello, all of my intrepid journeymen out there. So we are back with more progress to show you. And it is starting to take shape. Uh, pretty much the only thing I think I really have to do is the water. You can see I've got the painting on the bars, the wood, the mesh, the moorings. Got some rust effects. I really like the way the planking came out. This whole area looks just great. That's going to look that's going to really pop when we get the water on there. This concrete surface actually doesn't look that bad. It almost looks like they built the uh, canal into a a concrete rock outcropping like they just cut the canal into this so I actually kind of like the way that looks uh, I am going to do the water but I, I don't want to do it blue necessarily so I want to take a few time and test some colors on some other uh, surfaces before I start to lay it down but other than that uh, let's get around this other side I, I think we're, we're coming along well so those are some of the iron bars. And see, the thing is, if you're going to play a dungeon crawl or something, this stuff just looks great. You know, you can have a, a creature or something peeking out from under there. You know, I will tell you, one of the best decisions I made was when I sprayed the whole thing black. Because it cuts the amount of painting you have to do, probably, I'd say, by 40%. Because otherwise, you would see white popping up all over the place or gray or whatever other color you use and you'd be constantly trying to get a brush back there or stick it up but the black fills it in so well with the shadows and stuff it's that i mean you don't have to really do anything else but uh like with the bars i didn't have to paint the backs or the undersides of any of those and you can't tell this is kind of the surface here still i think it's still a little little wet not sure it looks wetter than it is I'm gonna do a dry brush of some light gray a little bit lighter gray over there uh, the wood planking looks great got a few spots here where some of the other material got on it but I think that gives it kind of a natural effect and all of these were simply done with uh, they were done with coffee stirrers so finally put all those coffee stirrers to use uh, the path some of it stayed on that probably wouldn't get used much like I said maybe again like if you're playing a type of Mordheim or Frostgrave you might use that for some Skaven to sneak around 
but uh, I just wanted to model something on there. But anyway, that's kind of where we are at now. I think the next video, the water will be done or it'll be drying. And then after that, uh, I will show you guys the finished harbor and canal with some buildings on it. <laughs> Take care. God bless. And we have a completed port. If you can see here. I wound up going with blue water more or less because uh, the other color when I did the test didn't really work out. And somebody was trying to use greens and blacks and all of that and it didn't look right on the test so I didn't want to try it. But as you can see here, we have a port. I have the uh, Goblin Town kind of scenery and planking on this side of it. Uh, you know, be cool to maybe put a half constructed building or a ship there later on. You can see some medieval buildings or shops that are, I think this should be turned this way. There we go. That are lining this side of the, uh, the docks. There is a ship in dock, although nobody is on it at the time being. We can see the grading and the work. This guy must be the harbor master. Who is that? Oh, that's that's pretty scary to see him greeting you with his manifest. And give you a pull-out look at the whole thing. And pretty much it was a weekend project. Right? This was all done in one weekend. And so now it's one board that I can tie to some other boards. I mean, obviously I can put a bridge across there. I didn't break my bridge out. But uh, you can put a bridge across there or you can connect it some other way. You know, build another board where you have to actually go around. But either way, I mean, it is a nice board. It is a nice piece. Like I said, I can change the buildings out and I can make this look more like World War II. You know, you could put some tanks and some gun positions there where this, this is being held maybe by the axis. And the Americans are going to land and take it and have objectives. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I mean, I just wanted to give you an idea of what you could do uh, with a very simple build. And remember, this was all mostly taken out of the book. Uh, was it what was it called? I'm sorry. <clears throat> I know it's Paul Davies Battlefields in Miniature. So that's where I got the concept from. Although most of the techniques I did kind of use on my own, but I mean, definitely I wouldn't have thought of the bollards and kind of the gratings and a lot of the other things that really gave this idea legs. You know, once I thought, you know, saw that and thought about it, I really realized I wanted to do this. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I will definitely try to show you some games with some figures and some pirates. And all of that other things. There's so many different setups I can do with this. I'm thinking of putting a market on here. Uh, I just have to order some items. So, yeah. Take care. God bless everybody. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'm hoping to do more builds and things like this. Uh, hopefully it won't be while COVID is still going on. But, uh, you know, just during the year and things. All right. Take care. God bless.